Imagine stumbling upon a secret door in your house that you never knew existed. Welcome to Grim Tales and Crime Files. It's an average day in your life. Everything seems ordinary, mundane even. You're going about your usual routine, cleaning out the attic, a place you've been a thousand times before. But today, something is different. Your hand brushes against the wall and it echoes a hollow sound, a sound that doesn't belong. You push aside the dusty boxes and there it is, a door you've never seen before. It's an odd sight, this door standing there in its eerie silence. It's old, older than anything else in your house. Its wood is rotting and the paint that once covered it is now nothing but a memory, peeling away to reveal the aged timber beneath. There's a strange contrast between this decrepit door and the otherwise well-kept condition of your house. Something about it just doesn't fit. A chill runs down your spine, an icy finger tracing your backbone. It's a feeling you can't shake off, a feeling that something is not quite right. Yet this chilling sensation is accompanied by an insatiable curiosity, an inexplicable urge to open this door and explore what lies beyond. You step closer, each footfall echoing in the silent attic. There's a particular smell in the air now, stale and old, like time itself has stopped in this corner of your home. As you approach, the chill intensifies. It's as if the very air around this door is colder, almost forbidding, but your curiosity is stronger, drawing you in like a moth to a flame. With a deep breath, you reach out to the door. Your fingers are just inches away from the cold, rough surface when you pause. There's a sound, a faint whispering sound, like a breath of wind rustling through dry leaves. It's coming from behind the door. You pull your hand back, the whispering growing louder in the stillness of the attic. It's a sound you've never heard before, a sound that shouldn't exist in your home. With a deep breath, they reach out to touch the door, only to pull back when they hear a faint whispering sound coming from behind the door. The whispering grows louder, more insistent, yet it remains indistinguishable. A cold shiver runs down your spine, who stands before the ominous door. You feel an inexplicable pull, a morbid curiosity that compels them towards the unknown. There's a moment of hesitation, a brief combat between the instinct to flee and the desire to uncover the hidden secrets that lie within. But curiosity, as it often does, wins the battle. With a shaky breath, you reach out, your hand trembling as it closes around the cold, worn-out doorknob. A creak echoes through the air as the door swings open, revealing a narrow, dimly lit staircase leading down into the depths of the unknown. The sight is unsettling, the atmosphere eerie. Each step appears to be swallowed by the darkness below, creating a void that seems to stretch into the abyss. Yet our you remain undeterred. You take a step forward, then another, your heart pounding in your chest like a drum. The descent begins. The staircase creaks under their weight, the sound echoing around the confined space. The whispers grow louder, more distinct with each step, yet its source remains unseen. The words are indistinct, a jumble of sounds that seem to reverberate from the very walls of the stairwell. The whispers become a constant companion, their rhythm syncing with the your heartbeat their cadence matching the steady tap-tap-tap of your footsteps on the wooden steps. Down, down, down they go. The light from the room above grows fainter with each step, the darkness growing more oppressive, more tangible. But you push on, driven by a force you can't quite comprehend. The whispers, now a cacophony, seem to be closing in from all sides, as if the walls themselves are closing in. And then, just as they reach the bottom, the whispering abruptly stops replaced by a deafening silence. A silence that's not peaceful but heavy with anticipation, as if the very air is holding its breath, waiting for what comes next. It's a silence that speaks volumes, a silence that screams louder than any whisper ever could. In the heart of silence the you find a room filled with oddities. A chilling stillness hangs in the air as if the room itself is holding its breath. There's a peculiar sense of time forgotten, of moments suspended in a spectral dance around the room. The air is heavy with the scent of age, a tangy mix of old wood and decaying paper. Everywhere there are objects strange and antiquated, each shrouded in a pall of dust like a forgotten memory. They seem to whisper tales of yesteryears, each one a silent testament to the past. There's a gnarled walking cane, its handle worn smooth from years of use. A porcelain doll with a cracked smile, its glassy eyes reflecting the dim light. A faded tapestry depicting a scene of joy now turned eerie with the passage of time. You move through the room, your fingers tracing over the relics of the past. 
Each object you touch seems to pulse with a life of its own, a story buried deep within its core. The room is unsettling yet strangely familiar. It's as if you have stumbled upon a forgotten chapter of your own story, a tale you didn't know was yours to tell. The furniture too is antiquated, each piece a monument to a bygone era. There's a grand armoire with intricate carvings, its doors slightly ajar, hinting at secrets tucked away. A heavy wooden table stands solemnly in the center, its surface marred by countless scratches and stains. A high-backed chair, its upholstery threadbare, seems to wait patiently for its absent occupant. The room is a puzzle, a maze of memories and mysteries, each piece more puzzling than the last. It's a place where time seems to have stood still, a silent witness to the countless stories it harbors. As they you are about to leave, your eyes catch a glimpse of a mirror, and in it, they see a figure standing behind them. A shiver runs down your spine, their heart pounding in their chest. The room, once quiet and still, now echoes with an unseen presence, its silent tales turning into a haunting reality. There, in the mirror, stands a figure, its face obscured by shadows. A chill creeps up your spine as you take in the sight. Your reflection it should be. Yet instead, an enigmatic silhouette lurks, its contours highlighted by the dim light. In a moment of disbelief you pivot, scanning the room behind you. Empty. No figure, no shadow, just the usual furniture draped in the soft glow of the moonlight seeping through the window. A shudder runs through you. It's not possible. It can't be. You turn back to the mirror, your heart pounding like a drum in your chest, the rhythm of your fear. The figure remains, closer now. The air around you goes cold, and you can almost feel the icy breath of the entity. It's a discomforting closeness, like an unseen presence lurking just over your shoulder. A sense of dread washes over you, a wave of terror that leaves you paralyzed. Your mind screams at you to run, to escape, but your feet are rooted to the spot, trapped in a trance by the figure in the mirror. You can feel the fear crawling under your skin, your pulse racing, your breath hitching. You can't tear your eyes away from the mirror. The figure is so close now, close enough that you can almost make out its features or lack thereof. The shadows still conceal its face, but you can feel its gaze on you, piercing through you. A silent standoff, an eerie dance between the seen and the unseen. The room around you seems to be closing in, the walls inching closer, the ceiling descending. The air is thick with tension, a palpable fear that has you in its grip. You're not alone. You've never been alone. And then, in a split second that feels like an eternity, the figure lunges at you, reaching out from the mirror. The world spins, your vision blurs, and your heart threatens to burst from your chest. This is it. This is the moment. It's too late to run, too late to hide. Suddenly the figure lunges at you, reaching out from the mirror. The figure's hand wraps around your wrist, pulling them towards the mirror. A cold, icy grip that sends shivers down your spine. A primal fear takes hold, adrenaline surging through your veins as you struggle against the unnerving hold. Your breath comes in ragged gasps, the reality of your predicament hitting you like a thunderbolt. The silent room amplifies your screams, the shrill sound bouncing off the walls, pleading for escape. Your heart pounds in your chest like a drum echoing the terror that has consumed you. The struggle is real, the terror is palpable. The figure's grip tightens, threatening to pull you into the mirror, into the unknown. With a surge of desperation, you pull free. The figure's hand slips from your wrist like a shadow fading away, leaving behind a chilling coldness. You stumble back, the sudden freedom jarring. Your legs give way and they crash to the floor, your gaze never leaving the mirror. The room is silent once more, the only sound is your labored breathing, each breath a testament to your survival. Scrambling to your feet, you back away from the mirror. The figure remains, a silent specter in the mirror, watching. Your heart hammers in your chest, your mind a whirl of panic and fear. You need to leave, to escape this nightmare. Every instinct screams at you to run, to get as far away as possible. You turn and sprint towards the staircase, the figure's chilling gaze burning into your back. You can feel the darkness creeping in, feel the room closing around you. You're so close, just a few more steps and you'll be free. But just as you reach the staircase, the room plunges into darkness. A chilling laugh echoes through the room, a sound that freezes your blood and sends their heart plummeting to your stomach. The darkness is absolute, the fear all-encompassing. The laughter fades, leaving behind a silence that is more terrifying than any sound. You are left standing, trapped in your own fear, in a darkness that seems to have a life of its own.